Timothy Brown was once known in medical journals as the Berlin patient, the man who had HIV, but doesn't anymore. Brown revealed his identity in 2010. He now promotes AIDS cure research and spoke in Washington in June. I do have um, certain um, mobility problems, but um, apart from that, I feel great. Yeah, it's great being cured. Brown told VOA he has been HIV-free since 2007. I am functionally cured, um, which means that I um, don't have any effects from the virus and uh, I don't have to take medication against the virus. Brown was living in Berlin when he tested positive for HIV in 1995. He took medications to manage the virus. In 2006, a doctor also diagnosed leukemia. Brown's oncologist, Gero Hüter, knew that one out of a hundred people, mostly northern Europeans, are highly resistant to HIV due to a genetic mutation. Simply put, they lack doorways that allow HIV to enter their cells. The mutation was well known to a small group of medical researchers who specialized in HIV, says Paula Cannon of the University of Southern California. Even if they get exposed to HIV, the virus has nowhere to go and sort of fizzles out. In 2007, Brown went through total body irradiation and then received a bone marrow transplant from an HIV-resistant donor. He immediately stopped taking HIV medication. Although the leukemia returned, the HIV did not. The first transplant went well, um, but the second one was pretty horrible. And uh, I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy. Researchers stress the risks of transplants. Tim had it not because he was HIV positive, he had it because otherwise he would have died of leukemia. Brown suffered neurological damage and has limited financial resources, but he is HIV free. It's kind of hard at sometimes like dealing with people who ha still have HIV. I'm like, um, I kind of get a guilt feeling because um, I, that's basically why I'm going around the world and talking to people. I, I want there to be research. Timothy Brown has been tested repeatedly and there is no confirmed evidence of HIV in his system, says Dr. Robert Silicano of Johns Hopkins University. Tim's been off of uh, treatment for five years and, and the virus has not started to yeah. replicate. So, so I think you're cured. So. Thank you. <laughs> He's really a symbol of, of what we can do, what we can aspire to and, and hope and, and, oh my goodness, motivation in buckets. Dr. Susan Blumenthal is a senior policy and medical advisor for the Foundation for AIDS Research. It has inspired us to put 75% of our research dollars into finding a cure. Canon, too, is optimistic about a cure. She uses gene therapy to develop cells with the HIV-resistant mutation. Suzanne Presto, VOA News, Washington. I'm surprised now that I see them in, I'm not surprised.